edge of their seats. That is how Ukrainian families living in the upstate tell us they are feeling watching the violence Russia continues to unleash on their homeland. 7 News reporter Melanie Palmer spoke with one man who says enough is enough. It is a story you'll only see on 7. Andrew Butenka is originally from Ukraine, but has been here in Greenville for the last couple of years, a long way from home, especially when that home has been turned into a war zone. My parents and my people are in bomb shelters. Some are wounded, some, some are dead. This is the reality of it. The current state of Andrew Butenka's home country. He spent a lot of time the last couple of days doing exactly what you see here. Absolutely. Checking Anytime. in on his Anytime. family. This building that was hit by Russian missile uh, located just two blocks away from the from the hospital where I was born and my wife was born. And it is around five, six blocks away from house where my parents are now. Living in the heart of war, destruction, death. They're shooting just into apartment complexes. And one of my friends is there and he doesn't reply. I'm so willing that he is still alive. His parents, much like others in the country, have unwavering dedication for their homeland. They refuse to leave. In fact, his father offered to fight. After you're sitting uh, and listening uh, to sounds of uh, that something blows up, you kind of get used to it. As you can imagine, he has been living each day with an endless stream of emotions. The thing that causes the most anger because they because I'm I'm safe and they are not. Butenka wants to help. Prayers for peace have been pouring in throughout the upstate. He says he appreciates those thoughts but believes what the country really needs donations. Every cent to recover the country that is damaged. If the devastation wasn't enough, Butenko says there's another battle stirring over misinformation. Those channels spread the hate, told lies. But above that, he is proud of his country and the people stepping in to protect their motherland. We will win this war. Ending our conversation with a message for his people. I want them to be strong, brothers and sisters. Butenka says it's those monetary donations from Americans that can really make a huge difference. He says if every American donates just one dollar, those funds can be used to help rebuild what has already been lost. In Greenville, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. And as always, make sure the sources you are donating to are credible. So we have a few links of reliable sites on our website. Just head over to WSPA.com.